Hey guys, Eric with Blue Line Fishing. Welcome back to the channel. Your time's important to me as always. And what we're going to do in today's time is we're going to take a look at billfish gear, hats, and sun protection hoodies and shirts, and see what you guys think. They sent me these products to do a review on, and that's just what I'm going to do. You guys do know I do a lot of reviews here on the channel, and they seem to be pretty popular. And also, uh, that I'm also very big on sun protection because I was diagnosed with skin cancer back in 2016. So it's something I take very seriously after that bout with malignant melanoma. So I want to be wearing the best gear, the best clothing I can when I'm out there on the water. So we're going to take a look at this stuff, see what you guys think, and check it out. Stick around. I think you're going to enjoy it. So let's jump into this. Bill Fish Gear contacted me uh, through the YouTube channel said, hey, would you be interested in checking out our gear and maybe doing a review on your channel for it? So I did some research on it. Um, as far as the company itself, they seem to be really big in the offshore market uh, as far as the guys that fish offshore all the time and also surf fishing, salt water, stuff like that. You guys know I'm based out of southern Indiana here, so I'm not doing a lot of offshore fishing, but I do go down twice a year and we fish the Gulf Coast. Uh, we fish every day when we're down there, so I do do some of that, but some protection clothing, it doesn't matter where you're at, whether you're you know on the coast here in Indiana or you're on the west coast, it just doesn't matter. I mean, the ultraviolet rays are going to get you no matter where you're at. So. Uh, after doing a little research on it, I decided, yes, I would do a review on it, and I um, basically asked what the next steps were, what they wanted me to do, and they said, hey, we'll just send you a few things, and they ended up sending me a couple hats and a shirt, and the first thing we'll get into is this teak uh, long sleeve hooded shirt. Uh, so this is one that I've done reviews on before, not this particular one, but I've done um, a number of reviews on other manufacturers out there and what I thought of their products. I'll leave a link down in the description to those reviews as well. Um, this shirt though, just uh, right out of the box and the first thing about it that I noticed is how soft it is. And it, their manufacturing process is a little bit different. Uh, when I got to looking into that, it's actually made out of a, a wood pulp derivative um, and it's it's a little bit different type of material than you're used to seeing. So it's made out of this whip pulp derivative, uh, polyester, and spandex. So it's a blend of those. So it's got an ultra soft feel to it. So once I agreed that I would do this review, I really got serious about doing some research on it because I don't want to do a review on something that I'm just not familiar with. I think I'm pretty good with the, uh, the sun protection clothing after my, my bout with skin cancer, researching it and seeing what does and doesn't work. Um, I think the materials this shirt is made out of are pretty unique. It's a blend, actually. Uh, what they do, it's, it's very, very soft. Uh, you know, right out of the box, that's one of the things that impressed me about it. A super, super soft material. And it, it's actually made out of a material called Model. It's spelled M-O-D-A-L. I'm assuming I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's not Model. Um, and it's uh, Model Rayon. And that's a material that's been used... Uh, for a number of years, for example, in like making high-end bed sheets, luxury bed sheets. The, the reason it's used in that is because it has um, a high uh, moisture wicking capability. It's very breathable and it's very lightweight. And you guys know, um, if you watch some of my other review stuff and performance shirts and such, that there's three things I'm looking for. Number one, I'm looking for the breathability of the product. Number two, I'm looking for the comfort also, and then three, I'm looking for the UPF factor, the ultraviolet protection factor. This has a UPF factor um, on this particular shirt of 30. And, you know, usually I like 50 because, you know, the maximum amount. Um, but that's still only, you know, 1 30th uh, of that UV getting through um, than it would be for UPF 50. I'll have to wear this in the spring and the summer because right here, you know, I'm in southern Indiana. Uh, so, like I said before, it's, it's cold right now. Uh, we're deer hunting and such, so we're not doing a bunch of fishing. But we'll start out uh, right probably mid-February, end of February into it. And I'll be out there all the time and I'll be able to really get a feel for the sun protection factor on this. But out of the gate, I'm super impressed with the lightweight material uh, that it is. And I'm going to show you... Like in this, the stitching that's on it is really impressive too. So it doesn't really matter where you're at on this. I'll try and find one right here. But you can see the stitching on this. See if I can get it to focus in there. It's like a double or triple stitching. Very, very thick. And I'll compare it here 
to uh, a couple of other uh, sun protection hoodies that I have and kind of show you what the stitching looks like on those as well. Now, we were talking about the weight on this. Uh, the, the Billfish gear is 8.9 ounces. So this, this Teak long sleeve hoodie here is 8.9 ounces. So that's very lightweight. In comparison to, um, I've got a Pelagic I'll show you and an Ex Officio uh, sun hoodie that I'll show you and how much they weigh. Okay guys, this this sun hoodie is actually an ex officio. I've wore this for probably three seasons, um, fishing off and on. I've wore it a lot uh, when we go down there and surf fish. And this actually weighs 7.6 ounces. So it's a little bit lighter than the billfish, but I'm gonna explain too, um, lighter as far as material goes, and there's a big difference in material, um, is not always better. What I mean by that is this, this has a lot of the same characteristics as far as design-wise. It's got the hoodie, um, long sleeve. It doesn't have the thumb holes, and I'm going to show you the, or I'm sorry, it does have the thumb holes, uh, just like the uh, billfish gear, and I'm going to show you that too. So, one of the things about this shirt, though, I don't know exactly the the, the makeup of what it's made with, but you can see right through here all this. Hopefully, you can see it right through here. It's frayed up and it's peeling real bad. That's where I wear a backpack every day when I'm surf fishing. And um, I may walk anywhere from a half mile to five miles uh, when I'm down there because I keep moving and moving and moving until I find fish. Um, so I'm not sitting still. And that's this shirt has not really held up. Uh, and this shirt wasn't given to me. This is one I purchased. But this shirt has not held up um, as far as the... Uh, wear and tear uh, of having a big heavy backpack on. Not only the backpack on it too, but there's some other areas. Um, I'll flip it over here to the back and you can see these, these where it's got caught on stuff and it's just frayed up real bad because the material on this shirt is just simply not that durable. So it is a little bit lighter, but it hasn't held up for like example the Pelagic, which I'll show you next. So this is the Pelagic Exotech. Uh, the Exotech is a different design as far as it has some other features that the other ones don't. It's got a built-in sun mask, and it's also got a zippered um, belly pocket that's down here. So that's different. So And it's, it's different material as well. Um, it weighs 13.7 ounces. So it's, if, if you know, you're splitting hairs here, it's quite a bit heavier than the other sun hoodies. Now I will say this. This shirt um, I have wore offshore for everywhere from Venice, Louisiana to Destin, Florida, and in between fishing offshore, and it's been a phenomenal shirt, um, or sun hoodie, I should say, um, and I've wore it a whole bunch. But it's one of those deals where I'm always looking for new products, always looking for something new, and I'm going to show you some more features, too, um, that this billfish gear has. One of the other things I want to show you guys is the stitching. This is the ex officio right here. This one right here is the billfish gear. And you can see how much wider the stitching is on the billfish gear. Uh, much thinner and it looks to be, it's, it's not nearly as thick a stitching as the billfish gear. Um, it just tells me down the road that this is probably not going to be as durable a product. Another thing I was going to show you guys on it that is pretty cool, and I have this on some of the other shirts, but I, I, I love this when it's made into a sun shirt, is right here down the sleeve are these thumb hole features. So you can slip your thumbs in each side like this, and it's basically a pair of makeshift sun gloves. And I'll tell you, this has come in handy in the past because just this past year, we were down fishing off Dolphin Island, Alabama. Uh, went out in a buddy's boat one day to fish some um, some gas rigs that are about a, a three to five miles off the coast there and forgot my gloves, left them in the truck. Once we got out there, I figured it out. And I spent all day fishing without gloves because, you know, we're doing our thing and I don't want to go back into the truck because we're catching some fish. And the backs of my hands were really the only things, ex only thing exposed that day because I wear a buff and the whole nine yards. And the backs of my hands got sunburned. So this is something that comes in super handy if you forget your gloves or if you just don't like wearing gloves and you want to get a little extra protection on the back of your hands. Um, I really like how these are built in to the shirt. Last thing we'll go over here, guys, is the hats they sent me. Um, and these are pretty cool. And I want to show you some features on these. I know you probably say a hat's a hat, which, you know, I guess in a nutshell it is. But I'm going to show you uh, the difference, really, and how hats do and don't last. So, guys, this is the Sailfish 3D hat. Uh, it's a great-looking hat, for sure. Give you kind of a 360 look at it. 
And then the other one they sent me was their American flag hat. Once again, great looking hat. You can see these hats have the snapback on them, which I'm a big fan of. I don't like fitted hats because I have a big melon. They never fit right. So these are adjustable uh, for just about anybody. And I've been wearing actually this particular hat here for about the past week. And it's super, super comfortable. And it's made of some kind of unique materials as far as um, to help it not get those salt stains or those that sun fading that a lot of other hats get. It's made out of a... a, a a nylon and spandex blend which makes it you know fit well uh, wick water and supposedly keep those sun stains and salt stains away we'll see when I wear this in the warm weather how it does because other hats that I've worn all the time like these for example hook hat here the Costa hat I mean you can see the sun fading on these things used to the inside of this is even faded this this hat used to be <laughs> navy blue and you can see just from being out there on the water all the time how it's faded out to basically almost a gray a grayish blue and you can see that the sweat stains on that and, the, and the, just the the water stains and stuff and i have tried to wash these hats and scrub these hats with uh, everything from just um, dawn detergent to using those little magic erasers that usually clean everything well it doesn't work so if a good looking hat like this does not sun fade and doesn't get those sweat stains, especially one that's navy blue like this, because I'm telling you, this hat here used to be, this hat used to be pretty much this color. And after several years of wearing it, uh, even the bottom of that one's faded, it just, they just don't hold up. So if I could get one that doesn't get covered in sweat and doesn't get covered in that, those salt stains and holds up, I will be super stoked. But this has been a really, really uh, comfortable hat. So just a couple other quick features of this shirt. Uh, number one, it's tagless. It's also silkscreen printed, which is nice. And I didn't really go over the hood on it. And you know, on these sun hoodies, a hood is not a hood. What I like about this sun hoodie is it comes all the way up. It's great big and fits over. You can see the brim of the hat, which when I've got my buff on and I'm out there and these side shields, super, super uh, nice to have. So it's got a nice big hood on it that will definitely uh, cover up the brim of the hat and do what it needs to do as far as keeping the sun off of you. Because uh, I'm, I'm talking from experience in other hoodies I've worn that have this same feature, but this, this one has so many nice features built into it. Um, that is a quick look at Bill Fish Gear. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel. Don't forget to hit the bell notification button. Maybe leave me a like down below. I'll leave a link in the description to BillFishGear.com so you can check it out and all the different uh, varieties of shirts and other sun protection products that they offer, hats and such. They've got buffs. They've got kind of the whole nine yards there. So I hope you guys liked it. And remember, until that next video, get out there and fish.